There's a group of 10 girls and we call ourselves The View. We probably should call ourselves The Views because everybody does have a view. Hey, how are y'all doing? Hey, so glad y'all could come today. And they meet at our house once a week and we fellowship for about an hour. Good lessons and we had some really fun. We had a women's event that... I really enjoyed Jonah last time. That was very interesting. But and we've gone through lots of things in life um, with the kids and health issues uh, to a degree. And so it's been just a comfort to know that once a week there's this group that will be on my doorstep and we're going to have a good time and uh, there may be uh, an opportunity to... You know, take a specific situation that someone is facing and lift them up. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, see you next week. Gail Stevens grew up in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and displayed an interest in banking at an unusually early age. When I was five years old, I would remember going to the bank and seeing the teller and just looking up and just thinking what a grand place this was. And I didn't realize that after the customers left that they locked the doors and they kept working. When I went to Alabama, I majored in finance, uh, but they had a banking curriculum, so it was like, sign me up. Uh, just anything to do with banking was, was intriguing to me. In 1976, she put her love of banking to work for Regions. In her current role as a merger and acquisition specialist, Gail recently coordinated the divestiture of the Morgan Keegan Financial Group. The Morgan Keegan transaction was so important to our company in getting us to where we are today. We had shared customers between Morgan Keegan and Regions, and it was important to always put our customers first. This was not a, a sale where we were saying goodbye to customers, goodbye to bankers, goodbye to relationship managers. We were saying this is a sale and a transaction, but we're still going to be married. We're still going to be together um, and have ongoing relationships, both between the two, two or three different companies at that point, overlapping customers, overlapping relationship managers. Again, lots of different stakeholders and the reconciliation of, of those types of, of differing dynamics is something that she's just got a gift for. Gail really thinks through the process of accomplishing whatever the mission is. She is so well adapted of trying to pull the right people together um, to get the mission accomplished. And, and she does it in a manner that there's almost a, a charm about her. You, you want to do well when you're working with Gail, if not just for the company, but for the individual also. Gail has also lent her time and talents to her work in the community. The place currently where she is doing such magnificent work is she is the chair of the strategic planning team. We have this uh, grand scheme of, of uh, improving ourselves over the next uh, 10 years. It's called the 2020 vision. She's really been the point person for that. She's also been a Sunday school teacher for years. I mean, she has seen kids come through this church, uh, graduate, go to contribute to the community through various jobs and vocations, and uh, so she's contributed a great deal here. Gail also places a strong importance on family and remains devoted to her husband Richard and daughter Reagan. But in 2005, the Stevens family suffered the loss of their son Todd after a long battle with leukemia. What amazed me about Gail was throughout Todd's illness, she would give updates to the church sometimes, even on Sunday mornings. She never glossed it over, and yet at the same time, she just brought the facts, told us how she was doing, and just did it in such a, an authentic way, and in a way that said, I appreciate your all's love and support, and I need it so much. But she did it in a way still that, that exuded such courage such steadfast trust and faith in God, and it just inspired people. I think you even saw that in Todd's life. You know, I also work at Sanford University, and I was the faculty advisor to Todd's fraternity when all this was going on. And it would be an understatement to, to say that he was simply a strong example to that fraternity. Uh, they still talk about Todd Stevens there years after he passed on. 
And it's because of the kind of kid he was and the young man of character and courage that he was. Well, so much of that was instilled in him by Gail, along with Richard, but Gail had a big hand in that as well. And you've always been a Gail Stevens has life. led a life of compassion and integrity. And though she's weathered storms along the way, she continues to serve as a shining example of the value she shares with Regions. The five basic values that we have at Regions just speak to me. And I know we all know them by heart, but um, one of the ones that sticks out in my mind is putting people first. And then the others along behind it in terms of doing the right thing or reaching higher or enjoying life, focus on the customer. And the way I think about the values is that I don't treat them as values on just an eight to five basis. My goal is to have those values from the time I get up in the morning till I call it a day. When I look back on raising my kids, I think if I had it to do over, I would take those five banners and hang them up in their rooms and say, this is what you need to strive to be. Except I would probably take the one that says focus on the customer and say, focus on the customer and mind your parents. <laughs>